Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and I want to ask you a question now. I was sitting up in church, and while Pastor Joe was preaching on one thing, my mind went somewhere totally different. And this is what I want to ask you. If you could imagine with me a beautiful world where everything is fresh, the air is clean, the food is pure, the water is, is refreshing and non-contaminated. Mm. The laws are of such that it's easy for people to follow them because they're full of love. They love one another. There are no racial uh, tensions going on. There are no difficulties with marriages and divorces and children being abandoned, sold into human trafficking, raped, molested, none of that. There is no abuse, it doesn't exist. Everybody is loving, kind, good-hearted, genuine, full of integrity and good to one another. Everyone is compassionate and caring. Think about that. That's something to think about, huh? <laughs> yeah, how far-fetched is that? But keep imagining, come on, come on, don't stop now. Now, imagine somebody has a need, someone else knows about it, boom, need met. Wow, they didn't even have to ask, need met. There's no gossiping. There's no backstabbing. Think about it. Nobody lying, nobody cheating, nobody committing adultery, nobody abusing their child, nobody beating their wife, beating their husband. Oh, think of the world where you can walk out of your door, go anywhere you want, and your door can stay unlocked for a whole week. And you don't have to worry about anybody trying to invade or to come in and rip you off. You don't have to worry about any of that. <laughs> you don't have to worry about drug dealers, addictions, alcohol, drunkards. You don't have to worry about that. Bars, strip joints, why? Because people love each other so much, they wouldn't dare even allow that stuff because they wouldn't want to see anybody go down the drain. So they just eliminated. And everybody loves it that way because everybody likes it when everybody's doing right. Everybody's doing good by one another. Everyone is loving one another as they would love themselves. Everyone is kind, tender-hearted, merciful, compassionate, patient, understanding, helpful, caring, lending a helping hand. Ah, imagine a world like that. There would be no need for policemen, no need for jails, no need for prisons, no need for guns, no need for bombs, no need for politicians. Whoa, imagine that. Mm. Well, I wanna ask you a question. Wait, before I ask you the question, let me make this comment. This Pat's two cents now. Do you realize that when you look at God's laws, rules, all of the things he has set in motion for us, for our good, to eliminate as much evil as possible, do you realize that would be the kind of world we would live in? But here's an issue, and this is what I want to ask you about. Why is it no one wants to be bothered with the ways of God? No one wants to hear what his word has to say. No one wants a part of him. They don't want to be bothered because he's basically cramping their style. Yet, knowing that if you had a world like that, you love it. But here's the problem. If you love a world like that, why can't you love a God that could make a world like that? That is trying to create that type of setting for us. The problem is our disobedience 
and the fact that we long for wrong more than we desire what's right. That's what's wrong with our world. We are. Not God, not his ways. When we reject love, we reject God. When we reject goodness, we reject God. When we reject doing each other right, we reject God. All that beautiful world I just described is in the toilet. Because we won't have it so. Because we won't have the creator of all that beauty and all that that is good and loving. We don't want that. Now, here's my question to you. Why?